Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Man Reviews here once again doing another discography countdown of one of my favorite bands. Today we're going to be talking about maybe an underappreciated death metal band, but I think they are fucking great. This is of course Monstrosity. Very uh, much, to me, one of the classics from the Florida death metal scene. I feel like they don't get enough appreciation. They're maybe a little bit underrated. They're, of course, most well-known for being the band that George Corpse Grinder Fisher was in before Cannibal Corpse. But they are much more than just Corpse Grinder's old band. This is just a great death metal band. They've had a really long career. Started out, like, in the early 90s, and they're still going to this day, going strong. Um, maybe they're a little lesser known because they do only have six albums in that time frame. They did have a long gap in between their most recent album and the one before. They've also had countless lineup changes, which definitely doesn't help to solidify things. So they couldn't put out albums too frequently because of all the lineup changes. The only member that's been in the band the whole time is Lee Harrison, their drummer. He does also write a lot of the songs. He plays guitar in other bands, but in Monstrosity, he just does the drumming and some songwriting. He's absolutely amazing, very underrated, awesome drummer in the death metal scene. But yeah, these guys are from Florida, which of course was the flourishing death metal breeding grounds in the early 90s, late 80s, around that period. Maybe these guys didn't become as well known because their first album didn't come out until 1992, which was by the time a lot of these other death metal bands from Florida were already putting out like their second and third albums. And then there was a few years in between their first album and their second album. So it was a lot to kind of like catch up on. The market was getting saturated with death metal bands by that time. So I don't feel like they ever got their due, but I fucking love them. If you haven't really given them a chance before, you just see the name Monstrosity, you're like, oh yeah, that's Corpse Grinders old, old band. Well, do yourself a favor and go check out their whole discography because there is some killer goddamn albums here. I'm just gonna run through them from my least favorite down to my favorite. Like I said, they've got six albums, so let's just kick this off before I ramble on too much more. Coming in at number six, my least favorite Monstrosity album. But when I say least favorite, it is still fucking killer. They only have six albums. None of them are bad. This one's coming in last, but it is still easily a 7.5 out of 10. This one is from 2003, Rise to Power. This one is very similar in feel to the album that preceded it, which I'll talk about later but maybe not quite as catchy as some of their other albums. It's still very fucking enjoyable, though. It's just maybe a little uneven. There's still a lot of really killer songs. It's just not necessarily killer all the way through like some of their other albums are. There's still great tunes on here. A Casket for the Soul is amazing. Visions of Violence. The Fall of Eden is an absolutely gorgeous instrumental that's on here. From Wrath to Ruin is great. The solos are great on this album. The vocals are great. This album does not have Corpse Grinder on it, but the vocalist on here does a fucking fantastic job anyway. I think his name is James Avery, if I'm not mistaken. He's fucking great, too. They didn't miss a beat without him. And yeah, this one's coming in last, but it's still definitely worth listening to. It's still great. Up next at number five, I am going with their debut from 1992, Imperial Doom. This one does have George Corpse Grinder Fisher on it. This album is not quite as polished or overproduced as their later stage stuff. This is does still have the great early 90s death metal feel to it. Um, this is definitely their most primitive album. It's not as technical, but there's still a lot of solid riffs on here. It's not necessarily a standout as some other early 90s death metal classics, but nonetheless, this is still like an 8 out of 10 album. It's still pretty fucking good, just not as good as some of their other albums. Best songs on here, Definitive Inquisition, Horror Infinity, Final Cremation is fucking great. All in all, still pretty solid death metal album. Let's move this right along to even better stuff. Coming up next at number four, I'm going with their most recent from 2018, The Passage of Existence. This one really is a great representation of their entire career. Um, it was 11 years in between their preceding album and this one, so that's quite a long time. They had taken a little break, um, but it still picks up right where the la last album left off. It's kind of similar in style, but mixes more of like a modern sound, but still bringing in the old school death metal roots. Still a lot of technical riffing and solos. All in all, a really great fucking album. I don't want to call it a comeback album because the album before is not 
bad at all. So they didn't have anything bad to come back from. Just a comeback album in the terms of there was 11 fucking years with no monstrosity albums. So after 11 years, you expect them to knock it out of the park. And they did. This album's great. Kingdom of Fire, Maelstrom, Dark Matter Invocation, Slaves to the Evermore. Just all fucking good songs on here. Really solid modern death metal album. Now into the top three. This is where it got really tough. These were easily my three favorite Monstrosity albums, but which order is the tough part? So let's go number three num from 1999 is the album In Dark Purity. This was the first album without Corpse Grinder, but this album fucking slays. It's absolutely amazing. Um, the riffs are all fucking great. The vocals are amazing too. Um, there's tons of catchy riffs. And the vocal patterns are amazing too. Like I, this one was James Avery as well. He's fucking great. Um, the, my only knock on this album is that maybe it's a little bit too long. They could have trimmed a couple songs off. Like there's a Slayer cover on here, which is cool, but did it need to be at the end of the album? I don't know. It's still fucking enjoyable. It's just for a death metal album, it is a little long, but it's fucking great. I'm not trying to be negative about this album. This is easily an 8.5 out of 10. I fucking love it. Um, best songs on here, Destroying Divinity, All Souls Consumed, Dust to Dust. Just all in all, absolutely amazing fucking death metal album. Up next at number two from 2007, Spiritual Apocalypse. This one is definitely a more modern sound, but the performances and songwriting on here are goddamn amazing. These riffs on here are so catchy, they just stick in your head. The choruses are almost like sing-alongable. You can understand everything the vocalist is saying. The, this vocalist was only on Spiritual Apocalypse and The Passage of Existence. I want to say his name is like, uh, his last name's like Rubviak or something. Ah, fuck, I'm butchering that. I can't even remember the guy's name, but he's a fucking great vocalist as well. Um, just very memorable songs on here. My favorite ones, Firestorm, Apostles of the Endless Night, The Inhuman Race, Sacred Oblivion. Just all really fucking killer death metal songs. I absolutely love this album. When it came out, it blew me away. I wasn't expecting it to be this goddamn good, but it is. Almost their best album, but there is one album I like more. That is from 1996. My favorite monstrosity album is easily Millennium. This was the last one with George Corpse Grinder Fisher. He actually recorded this at like the same time that he was doing Bile, his first Campbell Corpse album. And man, his vocals on here are absolutely insane. One of his best performances ever. The songwriting on here from the debut to Millennium, fucking night and day. The riffs got so technical and amazing. This is a death metal masterpiece. Like the riffing is just so interesting and awesome. The drumming is absolutely exceptional. So goddamn good. Every performance on this album is top notch. Favorite songs on here, Fatal Millennium, Devious Instinct, Dream Messiah, Manic, Seas of Change. There's no bad songs on here, front to back. Absolutely amazing, catchy ass death metal album. If you've never heard Monstrosity, please go listen to Millennium. It'll blow your fucking socks off. Anyways, these are just my opinions as usual. Let me know down below what your favorite Monstrosity album is. What'd you think of my video? Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Until next time, Hammerheart Metal Reviews, out.